Hello everybody, and uh, if you can't tell, I'm pretty tired. Had a long day-ish, longish day today. Ran around places, get my laptop fixed, you know, good stuff. I want to take this time into... Uh, sending a message to somebody and uh, allow me to s start off with uh, I wanted to use my mask for certain reasons I use my mask for certain si serious situations when it comes to people taking videos people stealing so on and so forth but now I feel like coming face to face about something probably more probably something you should take a little more serious anyways allow this video to be an open letter to Ryan Sutton Sutton however the heck you pronounce your name and to the parents of Ryan Sutton Now, for those of you that don't know, Ryan Sutton has been stealing videos, namely emergency alert system videos from the emergency alert system community. Now, as far as I know, he hasn't stolen any of my videos, and um, I wanted to take the time into uh, telling this Ryan Sutton that this is a very very serious thing this is not fun and games this is not something that people take a laugh at and be like ah oh, ha ha nice joke or ah oh, ha ha you got me we take this very seriously I take my videos very seriously. In fact, the majority of all my videos are very professional, uh, professional like. Any of my videos were made very professionally, and I take time out of my day to walk over to my car. Turn it on so my phone can charge. Hit the light so you can see. And of course, state whatever I have to, have to say. And I've taken up three minutes and 30 seconds saying just that. That's time I'll never get back. This is time I'll probably never get back. I could be in bed right now sleeping but now I'm making a video because well we believe that the parents of Ryan Sutton aren't doing anything so allow this video to be a message to Ryan Sutton and to the parents of Ryan Sutton because I'm part of a discord server that will go to any lengths to get these videos deleted, get the channel off of YouTube, and get this kid punished. Because we feel like nothing is being done about this. And a couple of them is thinking about pursuing a legal action against this. <clears throat> and allow me to just say that if any of my videos are taken 
or even if you think about taking any of these videos, I'll come after you with everything. Everything that I can afford. Because I have something that you probably don't. A lawyer. And trust me, I'll use my lawyer. <clears throat> With that being said, though. want to go for the record here that I really didn't want to make this video I feel like I have to though because honestly I don't know if anybody if anybody else is making a video about this because a lot of my friends have been stolen from I've been stolen from before but I've gotten that resolved. And I don't plan on getting stolen again. Because this, this something that shouldn't be dealt like it's nothing. I mean, you're going to use a phone and show an actual YouTube video on the YouTube website. That's ground for copyright in general. In fact, YouTube does have a copyright system that should delete videos like that. Yet, these videos are still up. So, why YouTube hasn't taken these videos down is beyond me, and why we are forced to do DCMA takedown notices or whatever for these videos is beyond me. I feel like that the community in general is being cheated. That nothing's being done about it and we will personally email YouTube about it. In fact, as I'm speaking, they are emailing YouTube about this. And if YouTube doesn't do anything about it, then our lawyers will. <clears throat> so, allow this to Allow this video to serve as more or less of a threat. That if these videos and these channels aren't taken down within a month, there will most likely be legal actions. We're not waiting any longer for this. We've had it, we've, we've pretty much had enough. And honestly, I'm sick and tired of hearing about it. So it's going to stop one way or another. Even if everybody makes a video stating that this guy, that this kid needs, needs to stop. And I know eventually it will stop. Because we have resources. We know that this, we know who this kid is. We know who his parents are. And what I know is that they're using an autism excuse, which is stupid. Because I know when someone has autism. And I know an excuse when I see one. And this is an excuse. This is an excuse to try to say that, oh, what he's doing is normal. 
No, stealing isn't normal. Stealing is against the law. What, is that, um, what Ryan Sutton is doing is very illegal. And we could at any time file charges. And I think the only reason why we have it is because he's a minor. So really what would happen? He'd probably get charged as a juvenile and really get nothing but a slap on a wrist for stealing YouTube videos. And then he'll just go back to doing that. What we want is fairly simple. What we want is his these videos removed, the channels removed, and for Ryan Sutton to no longer access YouTube until he is at a proper age where he can sit and enjoy YouTube videos without having to steal them and say that the, the that they're his basically I feel like that's an appropriate punishment if not then as I'm speaking we will negotiate with YouTube into IP banning whatever computer Ryan Sutton is using and it will find the address or I guess the specific location and it will ban that address that certain area from accessing YouTube But with that being said, though, that's that's pretty much all I have to say. If the parents of Ryan Sutton would like to contact me in hopes to ending this conflict, then you can email me in the description in the, um, in the email on my channel or I'll just post in the, the description down below you can email me there and with that being said thank you everybody for watching and have a good evening